All right, guys, GoToBoy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting our home away from home, which means we're on the road and we're traveling, which also means we're going to be doing some range time. Now, with range time, especially if you're a YouTuber uh, or a competitor or somebody who does a lot of shooting, this recent ammunition drought, a word used by a friend of mine, Poe Performance. I'm going to put the link to his video down below. Uh, I, I, there's a couple of things I want to jump on. I'm just going to have a little chat with you guys. Uh, one is the ammo shortage. Now, there's a couple different things to think about. What do you use ammo for? Are you using it for training? Are you using it for self-protection? Are you using it for that big day down the road where they call it SHT? The TF. It's the, T, it's the F. Anyway, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of different definitions of what and why you need ammo. I need ammo so that I can produce videos for you. So one of the best ways for me to provide some of those videos is I got into reloading and I had a nice awesome amount of resources and friends who were big into reloading that kind of helped me on my way. So we learned how to, well, do some ammo like this guy's right here. These are some plus P loads that I developed so we can uh, test out a new red dot tomorrow on the uh, a pistol. But it's uh, also got a muzzle brake on it. So I decided to go ahead and uh, load up some heavy rounds. Let's see how that thing will work. But with the ease of going out to my shop, pulling the handle a couple times, uh, I'm able to make ammo. Now, does that mean that I'm a, I have ammo available at you know any time? No, not really, because even the reloaders, there's a shortage. There's a huge shortage right now of primers, powder, uh, brass, uh, bullets. My favorite place that I like to go to, they are basically out of everything. And if they are not out of everything, they started to limit what people can take on a daily basis which is smart, I think, uh, because it gives everybody an opportunity to get in there. But believe me, while I was home, I went over there every single day to get my uh, allotment of primers and bullets and powder. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really care what kind of powder it was. If I heard of it used in a round, well, we're gonna, we bought it. But anyway, to answer Poe Performance's question, uh, are you a hoarder? Are you a performer? Or are you somebody who's just trying to figure it out? Well, me, I'm a competitor as well as I'm a reviewer. So I gotta have a lot of stuff. So, I mean, even a viewer asked me, these are the six millimeter arc, if uh, I'd be willing to send him some brass. Well, I just happen to have a couple of them. So I'm actually going to do that. Uh, do I have enough brass to send everybody? No, I do not. Matter of fact, one of the things I'm running short of right now is nine millimeter brass. Kind of interesting. So we got to spend some more time at the ranges. I did talk to a good friend of mine, Daniel, who we're going to be doing a video with here very soon, uh, where he's getting his brass, and hopefully he can give me the hookup. Okay, let's talk about another thing that's pretty interesting. I was doing a series on Joe Biden and his stance on guns, gun control. And you can look at it on his website. It's called Joe Biden Gun Safety. Biden, the Biden plan to end our gun violence epidemic. Now, he chose uh, Kamala Harris today uh, as his VP running mate. She, there's no improvement with this whole situation. They both hate guns. Uh, they both hate people who have guns. So if you have a gun, uh, you may want to consider uh, changing your, your position if you want to keep your gun. And I mean that sincerely. Because if you read his, uh, his Biden plan to end our gun violence epidemic, uh, if you read it, then you're going to find out that even your high-performance uh, deer rifle, I mean slash weapon of war sniper rifle, is probably going to be subject to uh, what they call a buyback. Similar to what Justin Trudeau did up there in Canada. It's one of the reasons why that if you want to keep your American sporting rifle, he wants you to register it with the NFA, okay, or the ATF. Well, I don't know if we have to put a $200 tax, $200 tax stamp on it without our magazines. But if we do, well, there's going to be a lot of boating accidents. I can tell you this, but that's the reason why they want you to register your firearm. And after you register it, if you lose it or it's stolen, you must report it lost or stolen. Because later on down the road, if they find you with the gun, this is the snafu, 
they can go ahead and convict you of a felony charge. So let's talk about the first thing I want to do. We're going to do one a day this week because I owe it to you guys to just get off my ass and do these things. Uh, one of the things he wants to do, and he feels like this is something that he will help the community, hold gun manufacturers accountable. In 2005, then Senator Biden <laughs> voted against the Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act. Now, if you want to know what that is, I'm going to leave a link to it down below. Also, read it. Because what it does is it protects firearm companies, okay, from being sued by families of those individuals who have a victim uh, in a crime where their firearm was used. Okay, so listen to this. But gun manufacturers successfully lobbied Congress to secure its passage. This law protects these manufacturers from being held civilly liable for their products. Now, this is the bullshit part of it. He talks about a protection granted to no other industry. I don't know. So if I'm driving my car down the road and I intentionally run into a bunch of people, do you suppose uh, the victims' families can sue Ford? because of my actions. That's a total bold ass horse face lie, horse soldier face lie. Is that the one he likes to use? Yeah. <laughs> Biden will prioritize repealing this protection. It's stupidity things like this. And this is one of the deals. Hillary Clinton wanted to repeal this thing. All they want to do is they want to be able to have constant bombardment against gun manufacturers, ammo manufacturers, anyone they can. And what they will not stop at, the manufacturers, but they will continue to go towards you. So anyway, that's the first step. Tomorrow we're going to talk about get weapons of war off our streets. Okay? We'll do that one first thing in the morning. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments section. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Hey, and check this out. We've got bunch of projects. We got pistol project, DMR rifle upper that we're doing with the new proof research barrel with the six millimeter arc and we got a 6.5 Creedmoor bear, uh, build going and the cool part about it is 6.5 Creedmoor 308 AR-10 stuff is still available. Somebody's doing a spin out right outside of my uh, office here. That's always fun. Let's go to boy 32. I'm out. Y'all be good.